I'm Garrett Bergquist, and joining me is Jefferson City mayoral candidate Edith Vogel. Edith, why are you running for mayor? I qualify, I have experience, and I care. What do you think is the single biggest issue facing the city? We need to, we need to get the citizens back involved in city government. How we do that is that they communicate with their council people, representatives that represent them in their ward. And when they have concerns and problems, they need to address it to the council. Council brings it to the uh, council meetings and we will discuss it. My job as the mayor is to coordinate the council people to uh, open discussion in regards to any kind of complaint that the people have or uh, concerns to move our city forward or to maintain what we have and do it properly. And that I want the citizens to know that I have an open door policy and there's transparency throughout everything. We're not gonna do stuff under the table. It's gonna be out in the open. Meetings will be open, discussion all the time. Transparency, transparency, transparency. Over the past few months, a number of citizens have expressed concern over the number of abandoned properties downtown. Uh, what do you think the city should do about them? It's a serious issue, but once again, we must respect the property rights of the people who own those buildings, and hopefully with code enforcement that the council works on with the city code, code officials, we will try to uh, either uh, let, bring that down or let, not let it get any bigger. A couple of years ago, the city council considered but ultimately rejected a proposal to build a, a conference center in a couple different proposed locations. Do you think the council should revisit that issue? The convention center, I am not opposed to. Discussion needs to take place again, but I believe if it would have been an adventure that would have been taken on, it would have already been built by private enterprise. What issue do you think is not getting enough attention on the city council? That's a hard question. If I had to sum it up, probably citizens being able to speak freely about what's on their mind. I think they are, I think they think there's too much complacency there where if they would come, they're not gonna be listened to, and I wanna correct that. I want to move them up on the agenda to be heard first, and if we have to uh, stay there till midnight, we're gonna do that because the citizens of Jefferson City come first. There are six candidates running in this election. In one sentence, why should the voters pick you? Because I care. Edith Vogel, thanks for joining us. Thank you.